All right, we're on Second Chronicles 29. He, Zikai, began to reign when he was five and twenty years old, and he reigned nine and twenty years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Adijah, the daughter of Zechariah. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that David, his father, had done. He, in the first year of his reign, in the first month, opened the doors of the house of the Lord and repaired them. And he brought in the priests and the Levites and gathered them together into the east street and said unto them, Hear ye. Or hear me, ye Levites, sanctify now yourself, and sanctify the house of the Lord God of our fathers, and carry forth the filthiness out of the holy place. For our father have trespassed, and done that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord our God, and have forsaken him, and have turned away their face from the inhabitants of the Lord and turn their backs. Also, they have shut up the doors of the porch and put out the lamps and have not burnt incense nor offered burnt offering in the holy place unto the God of Israel. Wherefore, the wrath of the Lord was upon Judah and Jerusalem and he had delivered them to trouble to astonishment and a hissing, as you see with your eyes. For lo, our fathers have fallen by the sword, and our sons and our daughters and our wives are in captivity for this. Now it is in my heart to make a covenant with the Lord God of Israel, that his fierce wrath may turn away from us. My sons, be not now negligent, for the Lord hath chosen you to stand before him, to serve him, that he should minister unto him, and burn incense. <coughs> then the Levites arose, Mahath the son of a Masai, and Joel the son of Ariah, a Isaiah, Isaiah, of the son of Kohathet, and of the son of Mariah, Kish, the son of Adai, and Azora, the son of Jehoreel, okay, of the Gershonites, Joash, the son of Zemai and Ed, Eden, the son of Joseph, and the son of, okay, I am skipping, okay, 15, there's too many names here, okay, and they gathered their brethren and sanctified themselves and came in according to the commandment of the king of the word of the Lord to cleanse the house of the Lord. And the priests went into the inner part of the house of the Lord to clean it, and brought out all the uncleanness that they found in the temple of the Lord, and to the court of the house of the Lord. And the Levites took it, and carried it out abroad, and to the brook Kedron. Now they began on the first day of the first month, to sanctify, and on the eighth day of the month came they to the porch of the Lord. So they sanctified the house of the Lord in eight days, and in the sixteenth day of the first month they made an end. Then they went into Hezekiah, Hezekiah the king, and said, We have cleansed all the house of the Lord. And the altar of burnt offering, with all the vessels thereof, and the showbread table, with all the vessels thereof. Moreover, 
only vessels which King Ahaz in his reign did cast away in his transgressions have we prepared and sanctified, and behold, they are before the altar of the Lord. And Hezekiah the king arose early and gathered the rulers of the city and went up to the house of the Lord. And they brought seven bullocks and seven rams and seven lambs and seven he goats for a sin offering for the kingdom and the sanct for the sanctuary and for Judah. And he committed the priest, the son of Aaron, to offer them on the altar of the Lord. So they killed the bullock, and the priests received the blood and sprinkled it on the altar. Likewise, when they had killed the ram, they sprinkled the blood upon the altar. They killed also the lamb, and they sprinkled the blood upon the altar. Now, if my memory is serving me right, um... They are supposed to be looking for some ashes now so they can start their sacrifice over there. Um, but here, they just started doing it. They didn't have to go look for some special cow, you know? They just, you know, the cow's ashes is what they're looking for. And um, I, I, I don't know. It doesn't make no sense. All right, 23. And they brought forth the he goat with a sin offering before the king and the congregation, and they laid their hands upon them, and the priests killed them, and they made reconciliation with their blood upon the altar to make atonement for all of Israel. For the king commanded that the burnt offering and the sin offering should be made for all of Israel. And he set the Levites in the house of the Lord with cymbals and psaltery and with harps according to the commandment of David and of the guide, the king seer, and Nathan the prophet. For so was the commandment of the Lord by his prophet. <coughs> and the Levites stood with the instrument of David and the priests with the trumpets. And he, Hezekiah commanded to offer the burnt offering upon the altar. And when the burnt offering began, the song of the Lord be, began also with the trumpet and with the instrument ordained by David, king of Israel. And all the congregation worshipped, and sing, sang, uh, singers sang, and the trumpets sounded, and all the... This continued until the burnt offering was finished. And when they had made an end of offering, the king and all that were present with him bowed themselves and worshipped. Moreover, Hezekiah, the king, and the priests commanded the Levites to sing praises unto the Lord with the words of David and of Asaph. Asaph the seer, and they sang praises with gladness, and they bowed their heads and worship. Then Hezekiah answered and said, How ye have consecrated yourself unto the Lord. Come near and bring sacrifice and thank offering unto the house of the Lord. And the congregation brought in sacrifices and thank offerings. And as many as were a free heart burnt offering. And the number of the burnt offering which the congregation brought was three score and ten bullocks and a hundred rams and two hundred lambs. All were for the burnt offering to the Lord. And the consecrated things were six hundred oxen and three thousand sheep. But the priests were too few, so they could not flay all the burnt offering. Wherefore, their brethren and Levites did help them till the work was ended, and until the, the other priests had sanctified themselves, for the Levites were 
more upright in heart to sacrifice <coughs> themselves than the priest. <coughs> And also the burnt offering were in abundance, with the fat of the the peace offering and the drink offering, for every burnt offering. So the service of the house of the Lord was set in order, and Hezekiah rejoiced with all the people that God had prepared the people, for the thing was done suddenly. We are on chapter thirty in Second Chronicles. And Hezekiah sent to all of Israel and Judah, and wrote letters also to Ephraim and Manasseh, that they should come to the house of the Lord at Jerusalem to keep the Passover unto the Lord God of Israel. For the king had taken counsel, and his princes, and all the congregation in Jerusalem, to keep the Passover in the second month. For they could, <clears throat> could not keep it, at that time, because the priests had not sanctified themselves uh, significantly, neither had the people gathered themselves together to Jerusalem, and the thing pleased the king and all the congregation. So they established a decree to make proclamations throughout all of Israel, from Bathsheba to Dan, that they should come to keep the Passover to the Lord God of Israel at Jerusalem. They had not done it of a long time in such short as it was written. So the pots went with the letters from the king and his princes throughout all of Israel and Judah, and according to the commandment of the king, saying, Ye children of Israel, turn again unto the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and he will return to the raiment of you, that you are escaped out of the hand of the king of the Assyrians. And be not ye like your fathers and your brethren, which trespass against the Lord God of their fathers, who therefore gave them up to desolation, as you see. Now be ye not stiff neck as your fathers were, but yield yourself unto the Lord, and enter in his sanctuary, which he has sanctified forever, and serve the Lord your God, that the fiercest of his wrath may turn away from you. For if you turn again to the Lord, your brethren and your children shall find compassion before them that laid them captive, so that they shall come again to this land. For the Lord your God is a jealous and merciful, and will not turn away his face from you, if you return to him. So the post passed from city to city throughout the country of Ephraim and Manassas, and even to Zablon, but they laughed him to scorn and mocked him. Nevertheless, the divers of Asher and Manasseh and of Zebulon humbled themselves and came to Jerusalem. Also in Judah, the hand of God was given them one heart to do the commandment of the king and of the princes by the word of the Lord. And there assembled at Jerusalem much people to keep the feast of the unleavened bread in the second month in every great congregation. And they arose and took away the altars that were in Jerusalem, and all the altars for incense took them they away and cast them into the brook Kedron. And they killed the Passover on the fourteenth day of the second month, and the priests and the Levites were ashamed and sacrificed sanctified themselves, and brought in burnt offering to the house of the Lord. And they stood in their place after their manner, according to the law of Moses, the man of God. The priests sprinkled the blood which they received of the hand of the Levite. For there were many in the congregation that were not sanctified. Therefore the Levites had the charge of killing of the Passover 
for every one that was not clean, to sanctify them unto the Lord. For a multitude of the people, even many of Ephraim, Manassas, and Ascar, and Zebulun, had not cleaned themselves, yet did they eat the Passover, otherwise than it was written. But Hezekiah prayed for them, saying, The good Lord pardon every one that prepareth his heart to seek God, the Lord God of his fathers, though he be not cleansed according to the purification of the sanctuary. And the Lord hearkened unto Hezekiah, and healed the people. And the children of Israel that were present at Jerusalem kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with great gladness. And the Levites and the priests praised the Lord day by day, singing loud with instruments unto the Lord. And Hezekiah spoke comfortably unto the Levites that thought the good knowledge of the Lord, and they did eat throughout the feast seven days, offering peace offering and making confessions to the Lord God of their father. And the whole assembly took counsel to keep other seven days, and they kept other seven days with gladness. And Hezekiah king of Judah did give to the congregation a thousand bullocks and seven thousand sheep, and the prince gave to the congregation a thousand bullocks and ten thousand sheep, and a great number of priests sanctified themselves. And all the congregation of Judah, with the priests and the Levites, and all the congregation that came out of Israel, and the strangers that came out of the land of Israel, that they dwelt in Judah, rejoiced. So there was great joy in Jerusalem. For since the time of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, there was not like, uh, the like in Jerusalem. Then the priests and the Levites arose and blessed the people, and their voices was heard, and their prayers came up to his holy dwelling place, even unto heaven. All right, we're on 31, and we are going to quit right here. And I appreciate it if you made it this far and you listened. I love you guys. Hugs and kisses.